hello guys welcome to my channel if you're new here feel most welcome make sure to subscribe to join the family if you're a returning subscriber welcome and welcome back so as you all have seen down here we are doing a studio apartment stroke bed sitter house tour and one thing before we begin, I would like to say that furnishing an apartment, whether it's a one bedroom and bed sitter, a single room, a two bedroom, is not a one time thing. And living alone brings so much peace, it brings so much independence, and it comes with growth. That's what I have learned. Another thing is, it's going to face your fears. I remember before I started living alone, I had thought about this thing for like two years since I was, I was in campus that year that's when i started this started having the thought of living alone and guess what two years after that's when not two years yes two years after that's when i started living alone and that's last year july so these almost 10 months have been so good for me a bit challenging you know with job loss you know with high cost of living and stuff it has been quite challenging but i would say it's it's worth it so if you're thinking about start, starting a life don't be afraid everyone starts from down there and we get somewhere with time and um, yeah it's all about patience nakujituma and the theme of my house is uh, mustard yellow we have um, red in the kitchen area and gray and we have white so my main colors are mustard white then we have gray and red so the things you see in this house represent what i love maybe i love uh, game drives you'll see some animal pictures you see a lot of plants here you see everything you see is things that i wanted to do things that i thought once i have my own space this is what i'm gonna do i think i have done a good job on that um yeah so let me show you my house this is the main door and this is how it looks that's my band lock and once you enter the house there's this year i got it from isley at 350 per meter then we have this beautiful curtain I got it from Isli as well. I don't remember the price, but I like it in mustard, to be honest. And the time I got it, they were running out of the market. So if really I want to move out and I want this kind of a curtain and don't think I can find it in the market anymore. So that is the door. Then down here we have a rug where I place my shoes when once I come inside the house. I leave my, these are my errand shoes and the shoes that I was wearing yesterday. From the door, there's this side, the left side, and there's this side that I'm in. Uh, this is my console stand. Uh, I got it from Z2 Furnitures. And on top of it, there's this key holder. I have placed this one just for deco. It was from Mombasa. Then we have my two books. I read books a lot. We have this photo frame here. I should put a photo. It was from Tuck. My sister got it. We have these two candle holders. Um, this is the Lukwazazila shop. place where to stop. So these candles and some coasters. Then we have um, this planter. I got it from Gikomba. This is a live snake plant. Down here we have this live plant. Uh, the planter too was from Gikomba Thrift End. We have a diffuser from House of Leather. We have spectacle holder right there. Uh, down here we have this um, plate like. I thrifted this one from town. I have put candies and this stuff and uh, colored stones and coins. That's what in here. Then pale kuneyo glass nilikuwa gift and kama souvenir it broke. I'm here to let it go. Down here we have this deco. It can serve as a serviette holder, but I like it like that. Then you have my mask there. Um, up here we have this beautiful rounded mirror. It was from uh, House of Leather. I got it at 1500 Then we have this uh, candle holder and these candles. Uh, the candle holder, I thrifted it. Uh, here we have a live plant. 
uh, nimeipiga piga ni mimi nimevunja vunja hivi but as you all can see we have a new baby and some more babies so it's live this one was from the the wale watu uzungusha mali mali yeah so that's my entry area that's how it looks <laughs> From this area we have my sitting space we have this mat i like it you see a touch of mustard i got it from isli then we have my couch over here and uh, the throw pillows and the couch were custom made by someone called pita then the throw blanket it's so cozy and uh, mom thrifted it and this is how my couch looks it's so unique and beautiful i really like it it's a two-seater but it's enough for me then we have my coffee stool over here we have this scented candle from tag we have um, my remote and books for deco and this is how the stool looks still enough for me and from here we have my TV stand, yeah, we have this live plant, it's a Chinese money plant and it's in Atua Matawi and we have this stand of this Kadiko over here, I have stored some stuff in there, then we have this for Diko and some rock and some more books, we have this live plant, it's a snake plantish family plant i think this plant i got it from uh, house of leather we have a cactus here and the tv stand i got it from neighbors jujamal and my tv here is uh, for three hyacinths i got it from jujamal so guys that's my entertainment area <laughs> This deck I got it from my bro, that's a giraffe and an elephant. I'm really a fan of animals. So let me show you this mat I got it from Isli. Let me show you the rest of the house. Then I'm gonna show you the washroom. So here's another plant. This is a pan plant. I got the planter from a clean, no, not clean shelf, quick mat. Then we have my dustbin over here. Uh, up here we have an apron and baking glove this is my knife set i got them from kamukunji and spoon set as well then we have my wooden mwikoza chopping board um mwiko and rolling pin they are all from kamukunji then on this side i have hanged my serving spoons and grater and kitchen towel uh, these ones came with the some came with the with my pots the kitchen towel I got it from China Square then right here we have my dishwashing soap and draining towel we have my kit over here and that's my sink area down below we have this mat I got it from Isli at 250 and in here we have my pots as you can see after those are nine months or ten they look really clean as it just chopper then we have my pan back there in sufuria and onions then uh, shopping bags yeah nothing much to show down here actually so guys this is my pantry space as small as it is on this side i keep my utensils these are coffee mugs and water mugs over there then you have my bowls a plate mat and pesto there then in here we have my food stuff cooking oil noodles etc these are coffee that i was brought from ethiopia i really like coffee then down here we have 
zenye nimestoko cans so from here going this way these are all spices i got the spice just as, at 60 bob in town then this one so i thrifted at 50 each then these are this is my nescafe coffee and this is my any coffee java i carried some from my sisters i usually brew then we have my cooking oil i got the oil dispenser from house of leather then we have um, any corn flour spaghetti rice macaroni and wheat flour and um chia scent uh, back there we have uh, cling film and, uh, and aluminium film so this is how my kitchen pantry space looks like kule nyuma nimekazile food zimebaki hapa zenye nikia kapa zikibaki na kunja put back there then up here you have this beautiful money plant as I know already uh, the basket I got it from someone called Paul then we have my pan here I've just put it here for deco then we have this plant I don't know their names yeah we have that plant I think I'll remove it from there during a cause in a cause of space but basically that's how my pantry space looks like on this side we have this deco piece it was uh, it was bought from a ronson seller mustard again and black and white yeah I really like mustard then down here this is maybe the ugliest place of my house I have laundry stuff over there and laundry baskets behind then you have my meko gas there we have this dead plant yeah we have that dead plant then this one this here is my juicer I just keep it there because I don't have enough space for it then that's my tripod here we have a, a socket that uh, I use for my cooker and for my kettle and here's my four burner gas cooker it's electric from Vaughan uh, it has an oven which serves as a storage sometime and these are my two kitchen towels I got them from town then we have this beautiful kettle this is what I use for brewing it really serves the purpose I like it I thrifted it so from here we have these curtain rods this door is leading to the balcony then we have these beautiful sheer curtains I got them from Miss Lee as well and I prefer sheer curtains because this house is not well lit it only has one window and these ones are good to let the light in and at night too it's not like there's so much lighting so I really like them that way I don't have a dispenser because my fridge my fridge has a dispenser and that's why I prefer this high sense bread because I don't need a dispenser I can just pour the water in through here I just pour water here and it cools really well so I didn't see the need for a dispenser plus you know there's no space for a dispenser so then here we have my kitchen towels uh, we have these eggs I, I should keep them in the fridge but I don't have the storage basket then here we have my vinegar dispensing bottle we have my water bottle stroke thermos then we have this beautiful plant it was from mom's place uh, together with that wandering Jew yeah the, the plant I got it from house of leather this one I got it from Nevis then this is a plate that I broke I'm yet to let go from here we have these beautiful curtain drones they came with the house plus this sheer curtain it looks like the other one on the balcony door and then down here we have these beautiful plants these are cactus this one I don't know its name I carried it from home then I propagated these and this was given by some neighbor so this is a photo frame that i wasn't able to finish on then here is my office yeah another mustard color here 
then this is orange you have this plant it's live you ignore the fruit flies please then you have this water mug i got it from kafo and this coaster i got it from from this is my laptop it's Lenovo this is my office uh, we have my other phone we have my books over here then we have this beautiful table lamp yeah this is my ring light because I broke my ring light that's how bright it is and I love it it was a someone's souvenir that I stole yeah so this couch we have this natumianga kujifunika this maseki koi uh, i store my stuff here then uh, socks down here then my extension stays here so easy my cables out and as if you choke on yuma yeah that's why how i managed to keep the house neat so these and these i got them from uh, some girl in kahawa and Dani. they went for 6500 both of them and the chair is quite comfortable i would say yeah it's it's fit it this is a small table actually where we lead to my closet this is my closet not so well organized <laughs> but i keep my bags up there traveling bags and hard bags then on this side you have my blazers jackets and everything trousers over there dresses at the behind we have my shoes sh some more shoes beddings and sleeping at over here that's a duvet then you have my tops and t-shirts here i have my skincare product or my self-care product i keep my makeup here that's i uh ironing passy then you have my wigs at the behind so that's my lesser there's not so much to show in here then from there we head to my bed area that's your girl uh we have this plant over here uh it's a it's a snake plant we have a new baby uh this two was bought with the rest then these are uh, mat i got it from victoria's furniture that's 800 bob then we have this beautiful mirror have that mirror i got it from a shop it's a roadside shop that i it was a random shop that i saw then this is like was a baby shower i'm toy way to so then here we have this castand for deco and in that cast something we have melt and candle have here kuhang kamelingine koko karibu na mlango have that clock it's not functional i'm just putting it for display have that lion and cup thing then some more books have these money plants uh, it's live we have a cactus it's live as well that beautiful butterfly decor and this plant too it's live so this custard uh, i got it from my sister alina Northern. then have i have this kofia i'm just putting it just as a decor and this is socket this is for my bed so Waki design you by think I'll come and design kitande kwe hapa but my bed is big so that's it so on this side we have my my laundry basket yeah those are dirty clothes in there I got it from Kamukwenji finally guys welcome to my favorite section of the house that wahala i really like my bed so much it's so cozy and this is where like i just like it it's so comfortable and it's spacious for me it's a four by six bed uh the same person that made the bed made the couch and the coffee stool i really love my bed and this is a duvet cover i got it from kamukunji 
this draw blanket i got it from mombasa marikiti then the throw pillows i got them from town these are pillows i got from um, Kafo. the mattress i got it from clean shelf it's super comfortable on this bed yo i just love it so comfortable trust you me so and when i asked my foodie to make something for me that's quite unique this bed shelf i keep my hair product extra beddings over there my other laptop hey i'm rich <laughs> yeah and my iphone box and books so that's what i keep here and any other extra thing that I don't know where to go here we have those three frames the writings were not matching so i had to print my own writings and how i interpret them is hustle pray and enjoy the little things those are some really strong ones for me then here we have this one once i have a bedroom this one is gonna make it there or if i have money there's another so in house of level get it yeah that one i got it at uh, 1100 in kasarani your place here it's a jika wash your place here samaki yeah so that's it for the bed area and the bed like the bed sitter so let me show you the um, the balcony and the bedroom first let me show you the bedroom as i said i got the mat from isli at 900 welcome to my bedroom um up here i keep that side of visa that frame i print in the photo it's printable then this is a live plant I got this planter from House of Leather to get the other one down here. This is a um, this is a dried rosemary plant that I put in a diffuser bottle. I spray painted it. Then we have extra tissue, another live plant. None in Azavizuri. Then we have this kamawe for kusugua miku. Have my tissues here. The same person that sold the mirror sold this car stuff for me the stuff to me then we have my toilet it's so comfortable we have the bedroom dustbin over there toilet brush then we have tissue holder uh, my air freshness then i'm not a fan of these tiles but these ones are a bit neutral so these ones i'm not really a fan on this side we have my skincare product up there the car stand I got it from Kamukunji this mirror I got it uh, from those hookers then I painted it black so that it matches that one zile kala zamba ndo ilikuwa hand squeezy when a fed niki mwagili ya maji so I had to paint it to match that car stand and uh, my skincare products over there, toothbrush, exfoliate, exfoliator sunscreen, you know, this is for hair. Then we have this fake plant, the only fake plant we have here. We have my face towel, uh, body scrubber and exfoliating gloves. Then we, here we have hand soap, face cleanser and my sink and this my soap and bathing soap and washing soap yeah i'm not a fan of this but they put it to prevent the door from rotting i'm thinking i'm really a fan of this door and the handle is beautiful I love here they raised it so mighty hair is it over cover I love when you shower hapa this is my bathing area that's the shower hand you shower hapa so don't imagine and they hey and then you go coach that's a good thing that's why I have those tissues like that so the bedroom is really good for me so from here that's how my little space looks <laughs> If 
you enjoy so let's hand over to the balcony there's nothing much to show out here actually uh, this is a capsicum growing from seeds I have spinach have ginger plant some more ginger tomatoes I have neglected them but these ones are ripe I'm gonna eat them I'm not cooking I'll eat them yeah so those are my tomato plants and more ginger and that's it that's my spray bottle at this stand that was previously in the house in Zulian uh, Vitu Zopulima in those bottles more than if I do that's it in this bag we have come to the end of our house tour I hope you enjoyed the bed sitter I hope you had fun watching this video and if you did don't forget to leave a thumbs up comment down below and share the video with your friend please don't forget to subscribe uh, as you comment let me know what you think about my interior design skills uh, I'm not an interior designer I am a financial analyst but if you think I should pursue interior design uh, considering this is my first time to live alone, my first apartment to furnish, my first time to buy stuff, organize a house. Let me know what you all think. Also, if um, you've been thinking about living alone and you have fears, let me know what your greatest fear is. Yeah, yeah. So thank you for watching up to this point. I really appreciate it. And uh, stay tuned. I'll see you on my next video. Ciao.